the hell was that? What's happening my fellow ghouls and ghoulets today? It's a very exciting video. Today, I'm gonna to be doing an unboxing and review of the Trick or Treat Studios Child's Play 2 Ultimate Chucky. I have wanted this thing for the longest time. Now, usually I'd say I pre-ordered this thing ages ago. I bought this thing last week and the reason why, and also thanks to Edgar O and their YouTube channel. So Edgar does a lot of content based around Child's Play merchandise, unboxings and stuff like that. A couple of weeks ago, they put a video up of the Trick or Treat Studios Child's Play 2 Ultimate Chucky, essentially announcing that there was gonna be a shipping delay. So there was a delay until this month, January, 2023. However, some pieces had made its way into Australia and the UK. So I dashed onto some Australian based pop culture websites and I found Aussie collectibles that had them in stock. Jumped on it straight away. As soon as I bought it, it went back from in stock to pre-order. So only a select few are in the country at the moment and I managed to snag one and he's here. I'm so excited. I was gonna wait till there are a lot more in-hand photos, but on Edgar's video, they did show some in-hand photos and he looks Amazing. I still think we're gonna be giving it the custom collectible treatment, possibly at the end of this video as a little bonus round, but I'm gonna hold judgment until I take him out of the box. So what I'm gonna be doing is taking him out of the shipper box, show you guys the actual box he comes in, do a full turnaround to show you all the graphics, and then we're gonna get him out, check him out, show you guys how to pose him and stuff like that. So on Trick or Treat Studios in the States, it retails for 599 USD, but here that equates to 799 Australian dollars, which when you're getting something life-size and pretty damn realistic, especially when it comes to the tailoring from what I've seen of his outfit, it's pretty damn good, but the description goes on to say, the sculpt itself was done by Caesar Dackel Jr. The officially licensed one-to-one -one scale Ultimate Chucky replica is truly a must-have for any Chucky collector. This Chucky has been developed to be the ultimate collectible, offering poseable eyes and the ability to change the head and hands to truly customize your display. The body of the doll is made using soft, flexible foam surrounding an industrial strength, poseable aluminum, aluminum, frame. To top it off, this item comes in a themed collector's box and stands at approximately 29 inches tall. The magnetic peg attachment system on the neck and arms allows for the head and the hands to be removed. The additional styles sold separately. So what they mean by is you can get the neutral expression Chucky, which is something I dig. And this is the reason why I hadn't bought myself one of these life-size Trick or Treat Studios Chuckies yet, because until now, they'd always offer the neutral good guy doll expression. And as cool as it is, I'm a fan of the snarl Chucky, especially from Child's Play 2. That is my favorite look of Chucky. So yeah, you can get the neutral expression. You can also get the face half ripped off expression. Now it says here the voodoo knife is sold separately. Now to me, that's a little bit shit. If you're paying this much money for supposedly an ultimate Chucky, you expect some accessories, especially whether it be the voodoo knife or also the Child's Play 2 Chucky boot knife accessory, the one where he jams it into the stump of his hand when he rips it off at the end of the second film. I think also much like the Chucky that I did the custom collectible of several months ago, it should have the option to swap it out for the stub knife accessory. Regardless of that, it still looks amazing from what I've seen. So anyway, with that being said, Let's open him up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, Nelly. Okay, oh, upside down, shit. Are you ready? Ooh. <laughs> I'm not even looking at him yet, I'm just. Come here. Oh my God, he's beautiful. <laughs> All right, let's get this plastic off so we don't get a reflection. Oh my God, he is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Check this out. It's got like a phony label that's been scribbled out, like a price tag on it. How cool is that? So if we just pan down here, the face already I'm in love with. And this is why I've held off for the longest time getting one of these life-size dolls is because I'd hope one day that they released a doll with the snarl face. So we've got all the good guys insignia here, baseball hat, we've got the cowboy hat, the fireman hat, everything like that. Collect all the good guys accessories, ages 14 and up. So it's cool, it's got like tad bits here, got blood stains here, it's a damn cool looking box. And like I said, that phony price tag there, which has a scribbled out $99 mark. Pull him around here, we've got some graphics of Chucky as well. He wants you for a best friend. He can be a cowboy, a courageous soldier, a doctor, a superstar baseball player, batteries not included. You can be anything you want. 
even Charles Lee Ray. Good guys, he wants you for a best friend. I thought it said, let him scare your secrets. Hi, I'm a good guy, let's play. <laughs> and then finally on this panel here, he wants you for a best friend. He can be a construction worker, final sale, no returns, a fearless fireman, batteries not included. All right, let's get him out of the box. What the hell was that? <laughs> ah, okay. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. First impressions right out of the box. The tailoring is absolutely gorgeous. And yeah, it is like a very soft foam, like a poly foam that apparently has the aluminium structure inside of it. So he's able to be posed. That expression is absolutely glorious. And he's got a little hair net on. It's adorable. This is incredible. And his overalls are like a proper corduroy and everything. And on the inside, you've got like blood stains and everything. So the box itself is also a collector's item. It's absolutely beautiful with the presentation. So let's see what we're going on back here. Okay. Okay, we've got the twisty ties on the back here. Oh my God, these things always confuse the shit out of me. Screw that, it's got some side cutters. That's better. Surely there was an easier way to do that. Okay, you ready to come out, buddy? Okay, minus the hands. Oh my God, look at him. Oh, he's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, dude. See, look at that. That pose, that posing is absolutely beautiful. Just nice and organic. Okay, let's get these hands out. Okay, let's get this hair net off him and see what we're dealing with. Okay, hair is beautiful. The hair just has a nice quality to it. Really dig it. Now, you can move the eyes around a bit. I'll show you that in a minute, but let's just futz with this hair a bit. Yes, there we go. That's looking good. You probably have to get a bit of a haircut, Chuck, but that's okay. So there is a bit of a problem with getting him to stand as you can see right there. So you may need some sort of stand system. I don't know what other people are using. Obviously this is my first rodeo when it comes to a life-size Chucky. But in terms of making him pose, absolutely beautiful. You can make him sit down, I guess. If you want him in the sitting position like that, you can do that as well. Yeah, you're definitely getting a haircut, buddy. So I'm gonna show you how to remove the back of the head and change the eye position. So it's pretty straightforward. It's on a magnetized system at the back pull it off like so. And then you've got the swivel system on the inside here to move the eyes from side to side. There you go. How cool is that? And scary at the same time. That is a wonderful idea. <laughs> and then when you're happy with your eye direction, just pop the back of the head on like so. So with a bit of futzing, I managed to get him to stand, but I honestly couldn't leave him alone like this. He'd eventually teeter over. So it'd be one of those things where you might have to just get a little rod or a stand or something on one of the back of the legs. Something similar to like a mannequin setup. So overall, I am so happy with how this is looking. I think just straight out of the box, it's a beautiful representation of Kevin Yeager's original Chucky puppet from the second Child's Play film. However, we're gonna have to do a bit of custom collectible work to him, but that's totally okay because it wouldn't be a Cosplay Chris unboxing video without a bit of customizing. So what I'm thinking, just give his hair a bit of a trim, treat it. I'm gonna add a bit of weathering to the face, just some soiling here and there, because you look at Chucky's face in the second Child's Play, there's, there's a lot of dark areas and stuff like that and just weather up parts of his costume as well as his hands. Now, I would have loved this to come with a knife. I think if you're getting something deluxe, especially when it's a deluxe Chucky, you'd expect some more accessories, but it's just one of those things where he's got to deal with it. Obviously, you can buy the voodoo knife and the other knife from Child's Play too, so I'm gonna have to sort that out at some point. It's a beautiful collectible for a Chucky fan, horror fan, movie fan. With that being said, I'm gonna be giving this four and a half Brad Dourifs out of five. So with that being said, Let's give him a bit of a spruce up or spruce down. Okay, first off, we're gonna style and cut the hair. So the particular bit of reference I'm using is towards the end of the film when they're in the toy factory. So as you see, the hair is way too long here. It should end about here, but instead of cutting it, then styling it, I'm gonna style it first and then see what I'm working with and then just go around the back and trim the back of the hair. So for that, I'm just gonna be using some V05. Now it is very kind of toughed up and stuff like that in the film. So that's what I wanna try and achieve, just that disheveled look. So just a bit of, spritz like that 
There you go, just start to kind of mat it up like so. This particular piece has a full thick head of hair. Okay, so if I look there, the fringe is up as well. So the fringe may need a bit of trimming too. Cool, that looks pretty good to me. All right, time for a haircut, Mr. Lee Ray. So, how are the kids? How's Glenda? It's just all subtle, but just a bit of wear and tear on his overalls and his sleeves and stuff like that. And there we have it guys, a bit of hair styling, a bit of hair trimming and some schmutz weathering and he's done and dusted. I'm absolutely over the moon with the base look of this product. I think it's an incredible representation of the child's play to Chucky look that Kevin Yeager and his crew designed back in the day. Considering the fact that it doesn't come with the voodoo knife or the knife from the end of child's play to, it's not a deal breaker, but when you're dealing with something that's supposed to be a deluxe Chucky doll, it would be cool to have some accessories and stuff like that. But regardless, I'm so happy to finally have a life-size Chucky in my collection. Again, beautiful representation of the part two child's play with a nice cheeky snarl. Guys, wherever you are in the world, please have yourselves an absolute cracker of a day. Hope you will. Hope you're happy. Be merry, be silly. And until next time, ghouls and ghouls, please always remember, cosplayers do it best. You wanna get a beer? Yeah, let's go get a beer. Come on.